Have you ever painted something that you thought looked decent and you posted it immediately until you looked at it the next day and realized it looked like or realized it could still look better? I've experienced this way too many times and found that letting my drawing rest overnight is the best way for me to find out if I really like what I made. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I give the final touches to my art, including how I decide if it's already finished and how the process usually includes leaving it overnight. Yes, I marinate my drawings. Real, not clickbait. So how do I define a finished drawing. I usually assess two things. Number one, whether I didn't over-render or under-render any part of the illustration. And number two, whether there's nothing more I can add that'll make it any better. To explain the first one in less confusing terms, I basically look at the whole picture, zoom out, and see if I properly brought focus to what I wanted to emphasize. For example, if I wanted to emphasize the face, I would render it the most and lessen the amount of details I put on other parts besides the focal point, which just means where I want people to focus on. I do this so the viewer doesn't get overwhelmed by the amount of details. If you take a look at this drawing, her face doesn't have a whole lot of rendering on it, yet it's still the focal point because everything else also doesn't have any crazy rendering. I didn't put any insanely realistic clothing folds or hair, so it doesn't look out of balance. If I added any more rendering to any part of this, like the clothes for example, I'd have to increase rendering in other parts as well, so that the difference in details from the face to everything else is not so big. I'm not saying that's bad, there are a lot of artists that do that to emphasize just one part of their illustration, but to me personally, I like to render everything a moderate amount, by my standards at least. Now let's say I'm done rendering even the small details like small brush strokes or little strands of hair or highlights. This is where I assess the second thing I talked about earlier, whether there's nothing more I can add that'll make the illustration any better. If I feel like I can still add to it, I experiment with little edits. I take advantage of the editing tools on my drawing program like color balance, tone curves, and the like. I just go to the menu on top, select layer, and new correction layer. That way, if I make any of these changes, I can play with the opacity, just them as I like, and it still won't make any non-retractable changes. I can even just hide the layer if I'm not sure whether I like it or not. I treat it like a filter that I can adjust to my liking. But if you wanted to do a filter like Gaussian Blur, you'll notice that there's no adjustment layer for that. So what I do is I merge everything into a new layer and then apply Gaussian Blur on it. Then I make a mask, which basically allows you to hide or show certain parts of a layer without making changes to its content. Recap my last video. Select it and then erase everything on the mask so that there is no blur and then only paint back the areas I want to blur. Masks are very useful for artists like me who are scared of making big changes on layers that are not backed up. So please take advantage of masks. Now let's say I've made all the changes and adjustments I wanted to make. Do I post my art immediately? No, I leave it overnight. This is where the marinating begins. It's because whenever I make a major edit to my art, I would be unsure if it looks better after I did the edit or before, even if I I flip back and forth to see the difference. I've noticed that when I let my brain rest, I can actually spot the mistakes better and find what I need to fix. Stepping away from my art is like the bigger scale version of flipping the canvas for me. There is also a benefit in doing this even if I haven't finished my drawing yet. Every time I reach a major stage in my process, which I talked about in detail in my previous video, I tend to do this too. For example, today I got the sketch and some colors done. Even if I come up with a good color draft and a good detail draft, I don't immediately get on with rendering it or painting over it. Usually I'd leave it for now, get back to it tomorrow to see if I really like the colors and adjustments I I've made and then I'll start rendering. Sometimes I also leave my painting overnight when I get to the halfway point of finishing it, but sometimes I just step away from my art because my two brain cells are tired for the day. I mean, that's valid too. Whatever my reason might be, this works for me because while I wait for another piece to marinate, I get to work on other illustrations, aka my 156 other works in progress. But I have to warn you that this leaving art overnight thing can also be a trap because each day that passes, you might find something you want to correct. This can lead to a lot of frustration, especially if you're a perfectionist. But remember that no drawing is ever gonna be perfect. To be fair, there are also cases where I've added a lot of stuff, but the next day I realized that the unedited version looked better. In that case, I can just hide the layers where I had the edits and the problem is solved. And I can just sit there wearing my clown nose. If you haven't tried marinating your art, this can be a good chance to do so. This is just my personal work method though. So if it works for you, that'd be great. But if it doesn't, well, that's one thing off of the list of things that work for you. That's about it for this one.